What's going on guys? I'm Joe from Throne of String and I'm here with Chris as always and we are at the cross.com studio and we are here to string up some sticks. Chris is gonna go for speed because he's always got something to prove and I'm gonna string up something real pretty and uh, I guess at the end we'll see uh, who's the better man. Damn, Josh. Stop. Chris was born in Long Island. <laughs> Long Island. <laughs> we, don't have, we don't have football, we have lacrosse. Yeah, they, they don't have religion, they have lacrosse. Uh, my father is from Long Island and uh, he played it um, his whole life and then um, moved out to Ohio when he met my mother and that's where I was born. And I um, learned lacrosse from him, from going back here. And then also the first time I ever experienced lacrosse was we actually just moved into a new house that we built. And uh, in our um, garage, you know you have like the, like the hooks, you have like a shovel on and you know, some other stuff. Ours had a lacrosse stick on it, a really, really old STX uh, lacrosse stick. And I was like, what is that, Dad? And uh, he proceeded to take it down and, and teach me lacrosse for the first time. We only had one stick, though, so I had the stick and he had a baseball mitt. And, uh, and then from on there, I just always, I loved it. It was the sport my father played and I was just really connected with it. I didn't really decide to start. I just, uh, I, I was, um, I'm a designer. That's what my degree is and my, my life is pretty much built around. And I've always strung sticks. I've always enjoyed the idea of taking something so trivial as string and making something functional that you can actually play with, because it's like, it's kind of like weaponry that you can like customize and actually go out and use and like not get in trouble. And like, so that's what I always really liked about it. And you can really see, there's no mechanical parts, so you can really see what, what you do on the stick while you're stringing affects how it plays. And I always really liked that kind of feedback that, that you know, the cause and effect that, um, so I always did it. And then when I started playing um, more and more lacrosse and tried to go into it and I had this background, I started trying to figure out um, better ways to do what I was doing to try and out new ideas. I, I learned a lot from just years of stringing. And so I started developing products just, just for myself, um, to string up for myself, just to see if I could do something that was better than what was out there. And um, I did, and people started paying attention to it, started like seeing my sticks at games and whatnot where I'd play, and also started putting on the internet. And it kind of just blew up from there, completely organic. Oh, well, Joe likes Game of Thrones. <laughs> That's what a lot of people think. But um, but he does like Game of Thrones. I mean, Thrones. Game of Thrones is awesome, don't get me started. But uh, it was uh, it was actually from my mother. Um, I was buying a lot of string, and my mom was an accountant, so like she's always taught me budgeting and whatnot. And she's like, why are you buying so much string? I was trying to explain to her, like, well, I have like orders and like I'm stringing sticks and stuff, like since I was like probably like seventh or eighth grade. And so the idea of it was I wanted something kind of regal and, you know, um, that was felt important because it's something that should be honored as the tradition of, of stringing, but I wanted to make it more a little bit more modernized. And so the idea is you take a piece of string that is really kind of trivial and there's nothing really to it, but we're able to you know, weave it and knot it and place it in something to make it very, um, you know, important, regal, and kind of uh, elegant in many ways. And it takes on different forms. So the idea is like kind of just building a throne or like a kingdom out of just this string that like, if you're like not a lacrosse person, you see string, you really think it's like a cat toy. But we see it, we're like, oh, I can make a dope pocket with that. And that kind of like that kind I'm of dichotomy sorry. between the two. Anything. What are you, a fisherman now? Yeah. I make a fishing net? I mean, I'm wearing a lax survival bracelet. True that. There you go.